God bless you, YouTube family. This is uh, an entry from Chronicles of the Bride on uh, October 27th, 2007. And what's very interesting about it is it really correlates to the last two things that I have posted, um, the t last two teachings and messages about intimacy and communicating with the Lord. And this is another confirmation to that Valentine's Day um, video that I just put out. I came upon it totally by surprise, and again, it was a Holy Spirit reading. Uh, we picked up the Chronicles of the Bride today to get a reading, and it opened to this page. And we trust Holy Spirit to pick our readings for us. And so, uh, again, he did it and brought up something else that would be very helpful to us and our desire to really hear the Lord clearly. By the way, I've had two people report back to me that the binding prayer, which I'm about to revise, uh, put the revision up, and that the binding prayer has worked for them immediately. And one of those people's had a really tremendous battle hearing and seeing the Lord, but he had a breakthrough immediately, so praise God. I mean, if this was given to us by the Holy Spirit, then he knows what he's doing. He knows what the devil, you know, what the devils are up to. And when I came in today uh, to my little prayer space to to uh, enter into worship, I saw a devil in the corner, and he was fuming mad. He was a big, fairly large devil, but he was nasty looking, kind of like a miniature Satan. But his head was real big, and he was so angry with me. I just said the name of Jesus, and I hadn't hardly gotten the whole word out of my mouth, and he was gone. So somebody's upset about that, and that's good. I hope they're all upset about it. And I hope they're all preaching on the mercy of God down there in the pit. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll begin this message then. Trust me, child, I want to speak familiarly with you. It is a good and wise thing to test the spirits. However, after so much time within a known relationship, it is important to move forward and be natural that you may enjoy the consolation of friendship in a comfortable way. This is the way I want to be with you. This is the way I want to be with all of my children yet so many are so busy with other things. The cares of this world and its allurements soon build a wall of interference by which I can only communicate myself to them in circumstances and distant ways. Many say that I speak to them in and through my written word, just as with so many other things I brought the scriptures forth for edification and good but also because of the hardness of their hearts. I knew that men were weak and easily pulled away by their wandering minds and flesh. I could speak familiarly with my servant Moses, as one man speaks to another. But the rest had to hear me through the spoken words in my inspired writings. I want to take a little break here and say that I believe what he's saying here is that the scriptures are necessary for teaching and edification. And he is present to us through his holy word. But in the beginning, when God walked with Adam in paradise, written words were not necessary, since they conversed familiarly with one another on a daily basis. In heaven, too, we will always honor and treasure the scriptures as God's word. But we will again have him to speak with us familiarly on a daily basis because our hearts will be renewed in tenderness and holiness with nothing of the world to distract or pull us away from our full intentions on him. Okay, so returning to what he had to say. And so which would you prefer, to have a guest whom you spoke to only as through a curtain, or to have a guest that you could see and hear and converse easily with? I have placed no barrier between myself and my soul's yet they unknowingly keep a wall between us regularly. I love and cherish them with all of my heart and soul, and I would that all would come to know me intimately. 
Pray for this grace, but know that it comes at a cost. Are you truly willing to change your lifestyles to accommodate that kind of closeness with me? It will surely mean a serious change for most. Are you willing to put away all of the distractions in your life to make room for me exclusively? Can you make the sacrifice of many things, friends, books, entertainments, and so on? I want to say, you know, that that's been a struggle for me. And um, I think one of the things that brought me to my senses was the understanding about the rapture. Before I really knew that the rapture was the real deal, I think I was a little sloppy, but when I, when I found out the rapture was the real deal, I, I looked very seriously at what I was spending my time on. And I came under heavy conviction when I went off to um, go shopping, you know, just to for entertainment, so to speak, to go somewhere and look at something just to get your mind off problems. And I, I put that stuff away. Uh, totally. Instead of doing it maybe once a year or whatever, I just put it totally away so I don't do it at all. So um, there is a cost and it is challenging, but it's so rewarding. I'm here for every soul that I create. I never change, nor do I sleep or rest. I am constantly looking at you, waiting for you yearning and longing to spend time with you and speak to you my heart. You have only to gird up your courage and try. I will most assuredly meet your efforts if they are fully from the heart with no preconceived opinions of your own. Give to me your whole will and intellect. Ask to be made again as a little child Peacefully wait for me, be patient, and I will visit you in ways you never before imagined. Only make room for me. I want your whole heart, your strong and earnest desire and pursuit of me, and me alone. I will give you the abundant grace. Will you but avail yourself to it? And that's the end of the message. So with that in mind, I pray for you and pray for myself, pray for all of us that we can continue to put the world outside and leave it outside and keep it outside and continue to expand uh, that intimate space for the Lord in time and silence and uh, precious, precious space for us to commune with Him. The Lord bless you, YouTube family, and thank you for tuning into our channel.